So I've already done the Ford Motor Company old fucker mobile. Might as well hit the GM models as well. Specifically the 94 through 98 DeVille. But since the Seville is basically the same car, we can include that one too. We can also include every other Cadillac that uses the North Star V8. Let's take a look. Back in the early 90s, the foreign cars were starting to invade the American luxury line. Lexus was fairly new and the BMW lines were starting to gain traction with the older generation. They were lacking in size, but they made up for it with interior quality, handling, looks, and engine power. Realizing that they were lacking in these departments, Cadillac tried to slow this push down, and they did it with the feature-rich DeVille and the sportier Seville. The base engine up to 96 on the DeVille and 93 on the Seville is the 4.9 liter, and the upgraded motor is the 4.6 liter North Star. First thing you'll notice about either one of them is its front drive, which is odd for a car this size and quite simply it's a pain in the fucking ass to work on. The 4.9 is a fantastic motor. It's got good power, good gas mileage, reliable, it's overall nice. The North Star. Oh man, do I fuck, fuck, fucking hate that motherfucking motor. I'm a great mechanic. Not much scares me, but I won't touch a North Star with a 10 foot pole. So here's the story. It's based on the 5.7 liter dual overhead cam that powers the early ZR1 Corvettes. So it's a motor with great power and economy, but it's plagued with head gasket failure. Oh, and the fun part? It don't even have the goddamn common courtesy to blow white smoke, so it's really hard to diagnose. Now you might be saying to yourself, hey, reviewer, lots of motors blow head gaskets. Just swap it out and you're good. <laughs> Boy, are you in for a shock. First things first, you can't change the head gasket with the motor in the car, and you have to unbolt the entire front suspension, transmission, and engine as one unit and lift the body off the cradle. So now you tear the motor down and you pull the head bolts off, and you notice something kind of suspicious on the threads. Is it thread lock? No. Is it gasket sealer? No. It's the fucking threads. They pull right out of the block. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a problem. So yeah, if you try to put new bolts in without fixing it, they aren't going to torque. Or worse, they will torque and then will let go 50 miles after you get it back together. The reason this happens is because GM used substandard aluminum in the block. The bolts loosen up, coolant goes down into the hole, corrodes the metal, and it pulls out. There is a fix, though. It's called a time cert. Basically, it's a helicoil on steroids. It replaces the original threads in the block with a new steel insert. The tool itself runs about 500 bucks, and the inserts are about 60 bucks for a 20 pack. Basically, what I'm telling you is that this is an extremely costly and time consuming job. It cost me a cool grand and about 24 hours total time to repair it. The North Star is also an oil leaking son of a bitch. It's not from any gasket, it actually seeps through the block. That's how substandard and porous the metal actually is. Oh, and just try to find the starter on this abomination. You're going to be looking for a while since it's under the fucking intake. We starting to get the picture here? North Star, bad. Now, they did try some revisions in 01, which did help out a lot, but they're still troublesome motors. Transmission-wise, you have either the 4T60E for the 4.9 liter or the 4T80E for the 4.6 liter. Both are fairly solid units. The 4T80E can suffer from TCC solenoid failure, which is basically a $20 solenoid that's buried $1,500 deep into the transmission. The 4T60E can shave the splines off the fourth gear clutch hub and cause no fourth gear, but it's not typical. The suspension is an area of concern. They introduced ride and stability control, which was great in theory, but it sucked in practice. Most will fire off service suspension lights, and it's very hard to get parts for it. It won't affect the car much, so most people ignore it. Some models also came with a rear air ride, and while not as problematic as the Lincolns, they still go out and the car rides the ground. Interiors on these cars are simple, but functional and comfortable. The center console is a place of concern as they always break. The base stereo sucks out loud, but the Bosch unit is acceptable. As with any Bose unit, replacing the head unit with an aftermarket requires adapters or new speakers. So what we have is a nice luxury car that happens to have one of the worst motors that GM ever shit out. 
If you can find a 4.9 car or an 01 plus North Star with lower mileage, then you're probably A-OK. -okay. Buying a pre-01 North Star that hasn't had the time cert done is sort of like being in a horror movie and running upstairs. It's just a terrible fucking idea. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. So thanks for watching this ranting raving review. If you liked what you saw, be sure and subscribe below for more videos. Thanks.